Hey guys, welcome to your favorite show. It is not that complicated. A show brought to you by the Innovation Consortium. A show that will talk about technology. A show, hey guys, we are up for the shoot. Eh? The only show that softens and simplifies all kinds of technology to a layman's understanding. The only show that makes you realize that, oh yes indeed, it is not that complicated. So please, endeavor to check us out on our YouTube channel at Innovation Consortium. You see that red button, please click it, subscribe, like it, share and comment please so that we can get to know what you think of us. Please endeavor to follow us on all our social media handles at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere at Innovation Consortium. So please sit back, relax and learn with us. Thank you. And action. And hey guys, like I told you, today's topic is about the step tap. And on the panel with me today, I have... Introduce yourself. DMM. Byron. Philip. Joko. Yeah, and that's the panel with me today, and we're going to talk about the step tap. And my main guest of the show is Byron Semalago. So please tell us, what is a step tap? A step tap is basically hand free, hand free, or washing or shower device where you simply step and water flows. How does it differ from our usual uh, normal taps? Uh, basically, the, one, the usual one is you, you have to use your hand and turn, you have to turn, then when you're even closing, you have to make sure you turn with this one. You simply step, it flows, you release. There's no touching it, There's involved. no touching, there's nothing. Except stepping, stepping. And There's no stepping, stepping. <laughs> yeah, step once. Yeah, step once, it like flows. You're driving a car, you're balancing. I think that's it. I have to. I yeah, step, step. This one is just okay. relax. Okay. Could we, could we be having a background or history about a step tap? How did it come, you know, to existence? Uh, tell us more about a step tap. Mm, basically, they have been existing, but in a version, the most common one is what people used to call the tip tap, like in the rural area where you know. They put a jerry can, put it with sticks, cross then a string, then a kid steps one the order, basically um, on toilets and they wash. Yes, I think they were invented by a Zimbabwean doctor. But, yeah, I think so. Back. Yeah. And, uh, Who used the endeku? Yeah, he used uh, a gourd. Uh, actually, uh, as a first step down. A gourd is the endeku. So basically, yes, was basically the device. Hey, he was a doctor in Zimbabwe. The device has <laughs> medical history, medical background. I think drinking. <laughs> Do you get? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It doesn't make much more sense. I'm not sure. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Because so, I don't know if but the first container was a goa. A goa. <laughs> now, basically, to illustrate what we are talking about, now this is the improved part of the one you know, on the toilets in the villa areas. This is nice, the modern step up, independent, no need of uh, the flowing water. The water is put here in this jerry can. This is the tap which is always open. Uh, this is a bucket which to collect water after you have washed overflowing water. When you wash, simply water goes here. When you release, it goes back. You can step again for step again. So this is the quality, the modern version of a tip tap in the village. But with this one, it can work in the markets in urban areas. I'm feeling I can do it better. <laughs> get it as so. Get it as so. Then you step. <laughs> <laughs> then you touch the soap. Mm -hmm. then you the only thing you touch is the soap. But another type is this type. This one now works on flowing waters. Especially if you have a hand wash basin or one washrooms where you go to wash after the nursery is dense. Indoor. So you simply put your pipe here and here. It goes onto the pipe. Then you step here. It will open. I hope I think they will show you one we have in our offices. We demonstrate how it works. So you step, water flows, you release, it closes. Now this is basically works in indoor. Mm, tell us about the technology. Basically this one, there is the, what we would call a turn spring. When you press, it opens, then the spring turns it back. Uh, basically that is it. So there is a valve in it which opens and closes by the spring. Even a kid of five years can step. I will show them the video which I will share with you. After the, the 20 liter will turn, then when the kid releases, the J can goes back. And to yeah. make sure 20 liters is 20 kilograms. So yeah. probably the kids moving water bigger than their weight. Exactly. Yeah. 
So, so, so basically, use the system of river whereby a kid can a kid weighing ten kilos can turn a jerry can of twenty by a foot with minimum with, with almost zero effort. So that basically those are the two we have developed. So this goes into the house. It's a domestic application of the step tank. Yes. But it's made out of metal. Won't it rust because this is water? How, how does that work? Basically, the one we have designed is if this is the floor of the house, when we are installing it, it certainly goes off the floor. So water doesn't settle on it down. The water is connected directly to the globe valve, which goes all the way to the sink or wash basin. Are these the only two types you've come up with, or are there are other variants also? Yes, they are some that they've shown you one that has a jerry can. We have some that have tanks. This one is attached onto wash basins. Uh, be, uh, in, I think further on you will see one that is made of a sy siphon technology. But basically they all just share one thing in common, that you st it's basically you step on, or they are hands-free. You step oh, on and the water hands. flows, you wash your hand. hands. Free. So kindly tell me the advantages of uh, this step tap uh, over our normal, normal, normal taps. First, in my view, first and foremost, the most obvious advantage is uh, the disadvantages that come from the older systems where you have to uh, open the tap with your hand, close it with your hand, basically taking the jams away that you put there in the beginning. So this doesn't have anything like that. Yes, this is easier to operate. So you don't have to touch? You don't have to touch. Oh, tightening yes. and all that. Yeah. And this has much better control on water. Because you see, as you wash your hands, most, most of the time you'll open and mm. all through when you're washing, you're putting water soap, is water is flowing. But here, since you have two controls, you can uh, step on, wash, and maybe if you're still applying soap, you can get your foot off, therefore saving water. So yeah, yeah those are the two advantages that I can talk of for now. Maybe the other one is, it is more fun. Because <laughs> you just imagine, yeah, yeah, you have to turn. It's more like it car. opens, then you close. Now with yeah, this, so from a I just step. point of view, <laughs> <laughs> maybe from a medical point of view, uh, people are used to hand washing is so close to. I'm a hygienist. Uh, <laughs> it's related to COVID or something. There are diseases worse than COVID sure. that are, are transmittable through a simple touch. Where I touch, where I touch, like. And that's Ebola. called communicable diseases. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Seems we are oh, yes. 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 Uh, no, no. There's a uh, <laughs> Ebola. There's a. Uh, Hepatitis. So, if you take away the touching of the tap, eh, you're oh, saving so yourself from so from many dangers. So, you reduce the load on healthcare for countries treating people. Speaking yeah. of oh, loads, yes. speaking of loads and fun as well. Since you said it's quite fun to step on, how long will it last in a village of children who or get if amusement it's in a out yeah. of stepping it? How long will it last? How does Trust it compare? Me. What's its durability? I think with our first generation design, almost it is infinity. <laughs> because in my, in my, I've, I've put some in my home and I have one of the most playful kids. Mm. How long we has... We don't doubt you. We know there's... We know. <laughs> <laughs> and How long has it gone? And we, we are almost in done? three years. Okay. Okay. And it seems working. But uh, for the first, as I say, the, well, we have gone through a process. The first ones, they had a very high failure rate. So we used to work towards now where we have reached. We almost have zero failure already. Ah. And this is our first generation design. Okay. Oh. okay. So we have to come back to you to buy every generation. You're like uh, iPhone X, <laughs> iPhone 11, <laughs> iPhone 12, yeah, M, 12. As X. long as there's no one who, who, who names himself, he, he personates me, you have to come back to me for those generations. Okay, so please, let's talk about uh, the affordability. How affordable are they? Uh, because the tap is about nine eight and eight to one thirty thousand. Yeah, because you have to go, you know, people really want to, to, to compete. How does mm, this compete on the market? Surprisingly, if we tell you, if we said the one for uh, for the indoor or wash basins or showers, mm. basically we share it at eighty thousand. Mm. Is that we, installed or just the devices? We device can device. install for you, but we can also give you money and do it yourself because if you're near. Our supply center, we do it for you. I was about to give you an order in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, uh, then two is the buyer cost about 80,000. 
but we have also made them which are stainless steel for especially for food industries oh, that's sure. about one hundred and fifty thousand uh, so you're going industrial as well yeah we have gone for f uh, food based industries also oh, yes sure, sure. now for the tip top this one is 120k and you win a gift and you go and offer it <laughs> and but you got a gift people need to know that the savings on the amount of water saved by using these devices uh, saves you long term so paying a little money to save Water bills. water bills later on makes a lot of sense. So what you're saying is that every time you're stepping, you save it. Yes. Maybe one other positive we, are for, we had forgotten, now me with the kids. I think most of you know if you have a kid who's about three years, four years, reaching a wash basin and opening, mm -hmm. it yeah, up, becomes yeah, a problem. So when it's stretched and like it opens, the, mm -hmm. the, the problem comes in what? Closing. Closing. They end up leaving so the water flowing. Is, uh, Horizontally challenged. Exactly. It's vertically it's it's challenged. It's vertically challenged. <laughs> that means if we keep that short, since the pebble is down, the, the, the pebble is down, the, our step up is down. You simply step and he puts his arms up or our arms and the arms and then releases. So the same thing even goes for the shower. Even the dis oh. you know, we're talking about people who are challenged, physically challenged. Disabled. How do they apply the step? The top. Those are the disabled. Yes. So physically, physically, challenged. Challenged. physically handicapped. See, you know, say something. Basically, look at it. Uh, for, for example, if you are driving a wheelchair, it, you could drive a wheel on this. That's why it has been put in such a way that it will, it will make, make a triangle to the bottom, ah, and then you can drive on here, and basically the water will flow. Ah, Byron, you had a point as well. Mm. Someone can press the stick or something. Even those ones, the the some clutch. of them have the clutch, the, yes. the clutch so they can use it and then they wash. Uh, we are trying to work on those ones who unfortunately move a bit lower, as in they don't have the stick, they don't have the chair. Mm. Uh, we are trying to come up in our design system or in advancements which are supposed to talk in the future. We need to also think about well how to position them to an advantage. Oh, sure. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Semalago Byron. Uh, we're going to part short. Everyone, let's part short. And... I thank you for my two seconds. So, uh, yeah. uh, passing short, I'll just, say... <laughs> 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 I'll just say that uh, basically this is the step tap or the tap that you step on. Um, it's major ad advantages. It's going to lower your costs. How? It saves water. Uh, it's going to prevent uh, communicable diseases and get yourself one. I wanted to mention that for people to wash hands, the practice is less than 200 years old. So there is a doctor in Hungary who is called the father of hand washing. He noticed that medical students and doctors would enter a ward straight from performing an autopsy and their patients would get sicker than the, than the patients in an ward run by midwives, so the doctors were actually killing their patients. Oh. And then they were in so yes, they were in up in arms against this man. But the man insisted and introduced hand washing and realized that people were dying less. Then oh. there's a lady called Florence Nightingale, years later in Italy, also encouraged hand washing. But it didn't pick up as a practice until the 1980s. And that's when the global hand washing day came up. So, so we have to realize that washing hands, how much money and resources it saves for families and individuals, and it should be encouraged as a practice. Yeah, but also, I think you should mention what happened to that gentleman who introduced hand washing. <laughs> <laughs> the gentleman ended up in an, uh, an asylum for people who are mentally. Like that was planned insane. by his colleagues. Or so? It his was colleagues encouraged by his hands. colleagues because he was very. They didn't want to wash hands. They didn't want to wash hands. He was credited <laughs> long after his death for hand washing. Oh, just like Byron will be credited later. Basimo again. <laughs> yeah, Basimo again. Okay, yeah. thank you so much, uh, Mr. Jix and uh, Philo. Yeah, mm. this one can hammer properly. <laughs> <laughs> I would step on this. Okay. We yeah, are viewers and listeners. Eh? Okay, Mr. Assured, we are working on a tap for alcohol too. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> step on it in the kitchen and someone gets beer in the beer. 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 Beer.
be on step <laughs> please post your That'd names your possible one. names for the tap we are coming up with yeah sure it's still a vagid idea for the beer tap <laughs> yeah for the beer tap okay. surprisingly all of us focused on taps <laughs> uh, here uh wash boy wash messy you know what but you see one gentleman came up and said byron and when i'm flushing a toilet i need something to to make my process of flushing a toilet hand free so at the moment very soon i think it's in a very short time we are, we are, we are using a a flashing a, a hands flash, free a hands free flashing tap yeah. flashing toilet <laughs> flashing toilet oh okay. i think that's a great innovation so please endeavor to always 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 follow us on our youtube channel check it out for all these interesting innovations for all these interesting discussions for all these interesting topics and oh yes you realize that it wasn't that complicated so thank you so much check on our youtube channel endeavor to click on it like it share comment let us know what you think about our views and ideas let us know let us know what you think about our innovations uh yeah we've really had fun and yeah, you want Maybe to close it up? Thing. Close it up. Feel close it up. Feel free to uh, send in something you feel we should discuss. Exactly. Yeah. Please share with us uh, what you think. Your topics of discussion. We can always put it on our program, and we shall break it down for you. And you will realize that yes, indeed, it wasn't so complicated. Thank you so much. Yours truly, the Innovation Consortium. Me and the team, Brian Lyon, your host. Bless up. Wait, 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 wait,